Hi. Thanks for the opportunity to be here to discuss our recent article, Prediction of the Renal Elimination of Drugs with Cystatin C versus Creatinine, a Systematic Review. My name is Erin Frazee Barreto, and I'm a critical care pharmacist at Mayo Clinic and an assistant professor of medicine and pharmacy. I'm also a Kern Scholar in the Mayo Clinic Center for the Science of Healthcare Delivery. In our analysis, we found that in the studies identified for the systematic review, assessment of kidney function using cystatin C to predict the blood levels of medications performs at least as well, if not better, than our current standard of care creatinine. Recently, there has been an increasing body of evidence suggesting that our existing approach to kidney assessment, the serum creatinine, has some pretty significant limitations in hospitalized patients. There are emerging tools like cystatin C, which are alternative blood markers of kidney function that might be helpful to inform our drug dosing and monitoring. We performed a systematic review of the literature looking at various approaches to assessment of kidney function in hospitalized patients and the impact on medication dosing and clearance. We identified more than 30 studies of more than 3,500 patients across 16 different medications including antibiotics, chemotherapy, and medications for the heart. These studies identified that the drug level and drug clearance predicted by cystatin C-based estimates of kidney function were at least as good, if not better, than creatinine-based estimates. That being said, there were still some gaps that we identified, including that rarely were the biomarkers combined to assess a kidney function, which is a strategy that has been recommended, and rarely were target attainment or harder clinical outcomes evaluated. Mayo Clinic is using cystatin C regularly as part of our inpatient care. The test is widely available here, it's relatively inexpensive, and it has a rapid turnaround time, only about two and a half hours to the results being available for the clinician, making it very suitable for bedside application. We previously developed a drug dosing tool for the antibiotic vancomycin that includes cystatin C that significantly improved drug level target achievement in very sick ICU patients. This tool is readily available on a publicly uh, accessed app, and it can be used to help improve care in the intensive care unit. The kidneys are a major source of medication removal from the body. Approximately two-thirds of the medications we use are cleared through the kidneys, and failure to account for changing kidney function could result in doses that are too high if the kidneys are deteriorating and increase the risk for toxicity, and too low if the kidneys are improving, which could increase the risk for therapeutic failure. With this work, we've identified the body of literature that exists to guide this practice, but also identified some gaps that we can fill with future research. Ultimately, the hope is that an individualized approach to drug dosing and monitoring, using more advanced and innovative markers of kidney function, will improve medication safety and effectiveness in hospitalized patients. We're building on this work to develop and test other drug dosing models, including with other antibiotics in the ICU and with chemotherapy for patients with hematologic malignancies. We're also looking at the practical side of this tool. Given how ubiquitous our current standard of care creatinine is, understanding the impact that use of a new tool on dissemination and implementation considerations, as well as the end user, like the clinicians and the pharmacists, is very important. Collectively, the systematic review reinforces this effort and demonstrates the potential that has been shown for new kidney markers to improve drug dosing and monitoring. Thanks. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.